The comparison between the F-16 Fighting Falcon and the F-A-50PH of the Philippine Air Force reveals two distinct philosophies in air power, one representing a fully mature, multi-role combat platform capable of regional dominance, and the other, a light fighter optimized for affordability, training, and rapid deployment. The Philippine Air Force, over the past decade, has been striving to modernize its fleet to respond to evolving regional security challenges, particularly the increasing tensions in the South China Sea. Within this context, the F-16 and F-A-50PH play symbolic and practical roles in determining how far the country can project air power, maintain deterrence, and respond to modern aerial threats. The F-16 Block 7070 seconds, also known as the Viper, is one of the most battle-proven and globally respected multi-role fighters. Equipped with an advanced AESA radar, powerful engine, digital Avenex, and compatibility with modern missile systems like the M120 Amram and AGM-88 Harm, it gives an Air Force the ability to engage targets beyond visual range, conduct precision strikes, and maintain air superiority over wide distances. It has a higher payload capacity, longer range, and better endurance, making it a formidable choice for nations looking to ensure regional air defense and deterrence. On the other hand, the FA-50PH, developed by Korea Aerospace Industries, Kai, in partnership with Lockheed Martin, represents a more practical and cost-efficient solution. Originally designed as a lead-in fighter trainer lift derived from the T-50 Golden Eagle, it has evolved into a light combat aircraft capable of ground attack, interception, and limited air defense roles. For a country like the Philippines, which has limited defense budgets and vast maritime areas to patrol, the FA-50PH offers an excellent balance of affordability, reliability, and readiness. It serves as a bridge between basic jet trainers and high-performance fighters like the F-16, allowing pilots to transition smoothly and gain combat experience without the high operational costs of a full-fledged multi-role jet. Technically, the F-16 far surpasses the F-A-50PH in engine thrust, weapon load, and Avenex integration. The F-16's radar can detect and track multiple targets at greater distances, allowing it to engage enemies before being detected. It can carry a heavier payload of bombs, missiles, and fuel tanks, giving it flexibility for long-range missions or heavy strike operations. The FA-50PH, however, offers simpler maintenance, shorter turnaround times, and lower fuel consumption, all essential factors for a country that needs to maintain frequent patrols and training missions on a tight budget. With upgrades, newer versions of the FA-50 are expected to integrate AESA radar, aerial refueling capability, and more modern missiles, bringing its performance closer to the level of early generation F-16s. The Philippine Air Force's modernization roadmap envisions a multi-tiered approach, strengthening air surveillance, air defense, and attack capabilities step by step. The acquisition of 12 FA-50PH units from South Korea was a milestone in regaining supersonic capability after decades of absence. These jets have already proven useful in counterinsurgency operations in Mindanao, maritime patrol over the West Philippine Sea, and participation in international training exercises. The government's plan to acquire more F-A-50s demonstrates confidence in the aircraft's performance and suitability for the country's current operational needs. However, there remains an aspiration to eventually purchase F-16 Block 7070 seconds fighters to elevate the Air Force's capabilities to international standards. Budget constraints remain the greatest challenge in pursuing F-16. Acquisition Although the United States approved the sale of F-16s under the Foreign Military Sales FMS, program, the cost, estimated at around $2.50 billion for 12 aircraft, raised concerns within the Philippine government. Maintenance and sustainment costs are equally significant. Operating an F-16 fleet requires a robust supply chain, ground infrastructure, and highly trained personnel. In contrast, 
The Fa minus 50th lower price tag and shared technology with the T50 trainer make it an easier, faster, and more sustainable choice in the short term. This economic reality means that while the F16 remains a long-term strategic goal, the FA50PH continues to serve as the operational backbone of the Philippine Air Force today. From an operational standpoint, both aircraft complement each other. The FA50PH can handle quick reaction alert duties, maritime patrol, and close air support missions, while the F16, if acquired, would assume air superiority interception, and deep strike missions. This layered approach allows the Air Force to respond flexibly to threats without overstretching resources. It also enables progressive pilot training. New pilots can master the FA-50 before transitioning to the more complex F-16, reducing both risk and cost. In terms of regional defense strategy, the Philippines needs both aircraft types to maintain a credible deterrent posture. The FA-50PH gives the nation a constant presence in its skies, enhancing situational awareness and providing visible air patrol capability. The F-16, on the other hand, represents deterrence, a strategic signal to neighboring countries that the Philippines is capable of defending its airspace and participating in joint defense operations with allies like the United States and Japan. The synergy between these aircraft types could eventually transform the Philippine Air Force from a primarily defensive force into a capable, multi-role air power that can protect national interests both within and beyond its borders. Training and logistics are also central to this equation. The Air Force has increased its participation in joint exercises such as Balikatan and Pitch Black, where Filipino pilots fly alongside advanced fighters like the F-35 and F-A-18. These experiences help improve tactical coordination, mission planning, and understanding of advanced air combat doctrines. The F-A-50PH plays a critical role here, acting as an intermediate trainer that prepares pilots for more sophisticated aircraft operations. Over time, this pipeline will ensure that the Philippines develops not only better hardware but also the human expertise needed to operate and maintain them effectively. Ultimately, the real power of the Philippine Air Force does not lie in choosing between the F-16 and the F-A-50PH, but in integrating both into a coherent, sustainable defense strategy. The F-A-50PH gives immediate capability, fast, light, reliable, and cost-effective. The F-16 promises transformative capability, powerful, modern, and interoperable with allied forces. When combined, they create a force that balances practicality and potential, ensuring both readiness today and strength tomorrow. The journey toward modernization is long and complex. Still, with consistent government support, strategic partnerships, and a gradual investment in advanced systems, the Philippine Air Force can achieve true air dominance in Southeast Asia. The FA-50PH symbolizes the present, reliable, flexible, and patriotic. The F-16 symbolizes the future, technologically advanced, globally respected, and symbolically powerful. Together, they define the real power of the nation's skies, a blend of ambition, adaptability, and resilience that mirrors the spirit of the Philippines itself.